Okay, our topic is about age as a monarchy, hip sales, and the subsequent reproductive performance. So we're from the Shenzhen Baoland Women's and Children's Hospital, Jinan University, based in Shenzhen, China. So first, give some background information. So as we know, early monarchy is common in females and it is associated with reproductive events like GDM and miscarriages. And the mechanism is reported to be some hormone related or obesity related. And some immune conditions like SOE and asthma also found in early, in early malarkey. So there are also some studies reported about the association of immunity with reproductive events. So our hypothesis is that immunity mediates the association of early monarchy and subsequent reproductive events. So our study recruited individuals, populations in our hospital from September to November in 2018. We randomly recruited 72 women in, during their physical examinations and in which Four women were excluded because they have some five burdens, recurrent miscarriage, oligomania, and uh, cervicitis. So finally, 68 subjects were included in our student studies and we give, get, get their informed consent. Uh, information including age, height, weight, monarchy age, uh, menstrual cycle and period, and also reproductive history were connected. We also connected the venous blood for flow cytometric analysis. So we also follow, we follow up then their pregnancy status from to until December 2019. And the pregnancy status including HCG, ultrasound, and AMP were uh, also follow up. The, some biomarkers in early pregnancy like TSH, F, FT4, and TPO antibodies were also measured. And some of the blood pressure, fast glucose, TG, uh, cholesterol, and the hemoglobin A1C uh, during the mid trimester were also measured. So, some way in our study, two methods were used. First is flow cytometric analysis. So, we use the blood and uh, use our routine methods. We just uh, measure the CD4, CD8 T subset. THH and the TFH cells, NK cells, and the gamma delta T cells uh, in these women. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay now. Can we can hear you. We can continue? Yeah, yeah. So actually, we used our little measure in the back just to discredited in this paper. Another, another method is we use a two sample nonlinear animation uh, methods to infer the causality between early monarchy and immunity functions. So this, uh, this method was performed in MR-based software. We using the public device data from UK Biobank and Teams UK. So actually the four different four methods were tested in this uh, software, like including inverse bias with weighted, weighted median, MR agar, and weighted mode. And the, the course of learning test was also carried out. Uh, I will also include in the need of one out analyze, just like driven or bias by single sleep to test the causality. So this some basic summary step, summary characteristics of the C subject in our study. So during the 15 months follow-up, there were 35 pregnancies and uh, we can found um, there were 32 in the hospital women was older than 30 years old and also we recorded some biomarkers in early pregnancy and also in middle the middle pregnancy. And here is the basic summary statistics. Uh, so in this slide, we tested the association between pre-pregnancy TFH1 and TFH2 
in early stage at the Mernaki. So we have found in the particle B, TH1 was, was relatively correlated with the age of Mernaki, and TH2 was positively correlated with, with the AM. However, uh, we haven't found any association between TFH17 with AM. And we also found a lactive correlation between TF1 divided TH2 ratio with AM, but uh, we have never found, haven't found any significant association between TF1 to 17 divided to TF2 ratio. So this slide gets some information that AM was associated with correct pregnancy TH1 divided TH2 ratio. So this slide, we also investigated the correlation between TH1 to TH2 ratio with uh, some biomarkers, early pregnancy and among these biomarkers, we only found the TH1 was, was significantly associated with TSH at early pregnancy in our study. Further, furthermore, we tested the TF1 divided TF2 ratio in three different groups: healthy pregnancy groups, threatened miscarriage group, and the spontaneous miscarriage group. We found there were no significant association uh, difference between the healthy pregnancy and the threatened miscarriage, but we found significant difference about this ratio between the spontaneous miscarriages that, uh, and the healthy pregnancies. So perhaps the TFH1, TFH2 ratio was associated with, some, with spontaneous miscarriage. So here we just present the association analyzed during the real follow-up. As we found in this figure in the left, we found the group with TFG1, TFG2 ratio higher than 0.29 have a, short, have a shorter uh, days to the spontaneous miscarriage, about 42 days. And in other control group, they have about longer, about 115 days. And in the regression model, we found the group will group have a high will have a higher TFH1 TH2 ratio and also have a higher risk to of the spontaneous miscarriage. The relative risk is about 12.25. And in both models, after it will still second, after adjusting the covariance, including age, previous time spontaneous abortion, and BMI. So this, this slide will show that uh, we divide two groups according to the age at monarchy. It's about less than 40 years or uh, lo longer than 40 years. We found the group have a AM less than 40, 40 years also have a shorter days to, or to spontaneous miscarriage, while the group, another group, have a longer days, about 185 days. So in the regression model, we also found the group with the retina group have a higher risk to miscarriage. The relative risk is about 17. And after adjust the age and previous times of spontaneous abortion and BMI, it is still significant. But when we included the TH1, TH2 ratio in the third model, it's become non significant. So this implies that perhaps there have some uh, the TFG1, TFG2 we show is a mediator between association between uh, AM and miscarriage. So I, above study, about presentation about the study we performed in 68 uh, subjects because it's, uh, perhaps it's some small samples. So and in another way, we try to infer the causality between the AAM and the TFG sales in a larger data set. That's why we 
try to apply the Mongolian organization, you see the genetic data from large GVAS, the large GVAS consortium. So we get the GVAS data of AM from the UK Biobank, including almost uh, 17,000 uh, subjects. And we also get the immune functions um, GVAS data from the UK twins, about 400 individuals. So we use the MR test to infer the causality between the AM and PFH cells. We found uh, the causality was uh, exist between them by weighted mean mode and the weighted mode. And you can find we use this in the scatter plot. There are many slips we use as instrumental variables, including about uh, 80, 80 slips as instrumental variables, and uh, found the direction is positive, and the direction the uh, p value is uh, very low. So this this MR in the causal inference indicated there has some causal association between the age at Manaki and the TFH cells. So our study concluded that TFH cells might be a mediator of the association of early Manaki and the spontaneous miscarriage. And so we also present some strengths of our study because our study used multiple analyses to show the mediation of TFG cells uh, for the association between AM and spontaneous miscarriage was not sequenced anymore by controlling the TFH1 and TFH2 ratio. And we also validate the association between early AM and aberrant TFG confunctions by two sample MR tests. And the limitations also have included in, in exist in our study because we conducted a small Chinese population and the genetic data support finding were collected from the European consortiums and other reproductive events like ectopic pregnancies cannot be analyzed because of the limited sample size. And the third point is that genetic contribution of TH cells to spontaneous miscarriage was not analyzed in our study. So perhaps in to avoid the overestimates of local specific effect from GVAS data. So we also want to discuss some uh, mechanisms underlying our study. Uh, TF, as with TFH cells is required for B cell development, uh, like G3 B cells, memory B cells, then non-lived plasma cells. And the TFH, there are you know, two types of TFH cells TFH1 cells regular is a, our, our regulators of pro-inflammatory stress, and TFH2 cells are differentiated of, of naive B cells. And the higher TFH1 divided TFH2 ratio usually implies inflammation. In our mundane renovation study, we found uh, there are two Sleeves were driven the causal relationships. One is NIM 28B. It's a famous gene from Moncani H, which linked to live CD40 cells survival, uh, differentiation to TF cells, and B cell development. Another gene is TAL2. It's also famous in Moncani H, and it's crucial for subatomic development and T cell development, including TFH cells. So the causality we inferred is some mechanism, uh, provide some clues to investigate the further molecular mechanisms between this AM and TF cells. And uh, the key information for our study is our we find association between higher TF1, TF2 ratio and spontaneous miscarriage. Uh, we have found some mechanisms to explain this association. First, it TFH1 cells secrete IFM gamma, which can trigger to produce IgG to gamma to alpha, then cause abortion. And TFH2 cells secrete IL4, which can trigger to produce IgG1 and IgE, and it was down-regulated in abortion women, so that uh, the two points we can try to explain the association we found. 
So that's what we wanted to present and to share with you. So thanks for listening and uh, you can ask some questions if and we can discuss also. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Professor. That was a wonderful presentation. So I leave some time here for uh, comments and questions. If anyone have any comments or questions, you can please go ahead and ask Professor Ben Lee.